Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Starting off all nice and quiet this morning. We're not tracking anything on the Doppler radar, and we'll see blue skies pretty much all morning and even this afternoon. And it doesn't feel too bad as soon as you step out the door. It's a bit warmer than it was yesterday morning, but that's going to be kind of the trend as we go throughout the rest of this weekend and through much of next week. Here's a live shot out towards El Dorado. Nice clear sky in the background. The sun will be up really within the next 30 minutes or so. And temperatures have been holding out mainly in the upper 60s and lower 70s. It's 68 degrees right now in El Dorado. And dew points are just a little bit higher up in that direction versus further to the south. It's 71 right now and Ruston 68 here in Monroe and it's 70 up towards Monticello. And like I said, dew points further south are not as high than those further to the north. But again, we'll take these upper 60s versus those 70s and almost near 80 that we have been dealing with further back last week and early the past month or so. Now, we're a nice clean sweep across the whole area on Doppler radar. Don't really expect anything as far as any clouds in the sky as high pressure along with the dry air currently aloft over our region is com combined those two together and and we're going to see blue skies all day today and even as we go into this weekend as well. Now, because the frontal battery is pushing in with the high pressure and dry air, it's the reason why we're not really seeing any showers or thunders or sparking up along the extra frontal boundary. So if you've got any outdoor plans, it's going to be best to do it this morning as it gets out at the bus stop. It's not going to feel that bad. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s. But this afternoon, that's when those temperatures, yeah, they're going to be reaching back to the triple digits. Now, the dew points won't be as high as last week, but it's still high enough. It's going to make it feel at least six to seven degrees hotter than the actual temperature and it really this go around our temperatures will be more extreme more so than the actual dew points so heat advisories and excessive heat warnings will definitely be in place so heat safety still needs to be the priority for this afternoon areas in the pink will be on the excessive heat warning and the peach color is going to be more of the heat advisory where the heat index reach around 105 ranging to maybe 107 108 but to the southwest your heat index could be reaching to 110 and higher but regardless just be extra careful stay hydrated i probably would move the outdoor sports, uh, football practice, band practice, may want to move those indoors for today because it's just not going to be advisable to be outdoors today. And even as we go into the weekend, we're going to continue to deal with these extreme heat conditions. We could see 104 and 103 for Saturday and Sunday and really not much of any relief in sight as we're going to see really just uh, high pressure kind of dominate much of the deep south. And the frontal boundary is pushing that drier air also further to the south as well. The reason why deep points further to the north are just a few degrees higher than further southward. And it can has kind of kept it fairly nice during the early morning hours when temperatures have been mainly in the upper 60s and lower 70s, but it does kind of add to that fire threat. We still have moderate and even severe drought conditions further down south of I-20, and it kind of just adds to that. So just be mindful of that. We're still under a statewide burn ban. Now, so stationary front starts moving further to the south. As it does, it pushes the drier air out, and we're going to see our dew point slowly climb a little bit, but not going to be that extreme. Still going to be humid, but not like we've seen these past month or so. We're temperatures be around 98, 99 degrees, and it feels like it's near 115, but this time to go around, the temperatures will be more extreme, reaching 104, possibly around 105, and there's not going to be a whole lot going on as far as any relief, as far as rain that could cool us off. As we go throughout this afternoon, temperatures will be in the triple digits, and overnight tonight, we'll see temperatures kind of cool down to the mid-70s, and then tomorrow, that's going to be the similar case. We'll be back to the triple digits, so we'll see a high of 103 for today. The excessive heat will continue, and for tonight, we'll see a little about 75 degrees, and honestly, tomorrow through the weekend, there's going to be no relief in sight as rain chances still stay relatively low with a few clouds. So we just got to buckle down and just get through the next several days.